hi guys. Um, I thought I would share with you my little personal size uh, ring bound journal. What is it? It's pretty much what it is. Planner journal. Yeah. Um, I picked this up off eBay. Um, I think you may or may not have seen another video on it or on back in the start of January. Um, I've been using it, well, for six months now. Um, it's evolved, it's devolved as well, in a way. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of how it's being used now. Um, this goes with me everywhere. This is my handbag journal um, and planner. It, it does, it travels everywhere. It's holding up really well, actually. Six months of use. For an eBay pickup that cost me less than $10, like, I'm not kidding. Um, I've got a little bit of pen on it. A um, couple of small scuffs. Seriously, if I was to sell this off, as is, like, for a man I've used it, I'd be pretty happy if I got that second hand. Yeah, it's a pickup. You know, it's pretty good, pretty good quality, pretty good condition. Considering it was it was a cheap China knockoff job. You know, well, not knockoff, but you know. Um. All right. Anyway, moving on. Sorry. Yeah. Um. I've still got my washi tape in here. So I've used some of it. You know, little bits here and there. I don't decorate as much in here now as what I used to. Um, stickers, more stickers, no idea what's in there. Oh, flags, there you go. Um, my key is still there. And my little, this is my little, um, I think it was well, one of the ladies from Planet Addicts Australia. Her son got creative and started making this little um, planner things he wanted to sell them so I bought one I thought that was super cute and because I love turtles so. and I didn't choose the color but I got sent an orange one and orange is my favorite color so I really love him he's cute he just sits in there and just keeps my planner happy um, okay so a small shopping list there of stuff I need to buy some that I've got I haven't been liking enough some of the have just on my little dashboard This page I haven't looked at for a while. Yeah. This is my fold out week view for planner, um, personal size planner. And it was a schedule that I made up for myself. I haven't stuck to it. I'm shocking. I don't stick to anything. I try. I fail. I got heart. Got, got, you know, got, got all the feels for it, but yeah. I'm not sticking to it. Probably because I don't look at it. Like I said, I haven't looked at it in ages. <laughs> Maybe if I looked at it, I'd uh, follow it a bit better. Um, my dash, my, uh, what are they? Dividers that I made myself. They're still there. They're still in use. Because you know, I only printed them on cardstock and they're not laminated. They're actually having up right. I do use this quite a bit. Um, so yeah, th so this, I don't know whether you've seen it or not, but it's based on bullet journal style, okay. You're looking at that going, how is that based on bullet journaling? I'll get that, I'll explain to you. I've got these fold out pieces. These I designed myself. And we're bas basically there was the issue of in bullet journaling of how do you future plan how do you, you know like something six months away how the heck are you going to remember that you've made a note of it without having to migrate it every single time you turn the page or start a list or you know whatever you know you, you're not going to remember so um, basically I wanted something that I could easily remove um, which is why it's in a ring bound and not in a, a like a notebook. And I wanted it to still have months um, that I could do. So you see, I've got like washi tape on each of these. 
and that's different moths. Um, and each of them pull out into the moth. Okay, there's June. I haven't filled it out. Never mind, we'll get that. Um, <laughs> but you know, there's July. Hey, that's good. Some birthdays on it. That's awesome. Um, sorry, yeah. Basically, that's what I wanted to do with it. Um, I wanted you to be able to have something that you could future plan with. So, in doing that, I've made these fold out because I thought, well, if I'm over here somewhere and I need to see what's happening in January, I got this out. How am I going to see it? So, you know, um, I've got my journal open here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll need to be able to see the month. And then it's got, you know, the goals, so your goal setting for the month. Um, and then other important dates as well. So, I thought that, I needed that. But then I also was doing this weekly one as well. So, for me, it was weekly with Project Live section as well. So then, bam, you can see the start of the week, this is my weekly stuff. This is my monthly stuff, this is my weekly stuff, and this is my daily stuff. Cool. So I designed those as well. And I was going along really well until I ran out of my weekly ones. And since I made that file, I my computer crashed really, really, really badly. And I no longer have that file. So I ran out and haven't been able to I haven't I haven't been bothered to tell you the truth to remake it. Um, lazy, yep, yep, that's me. I could do that. Um, nor have I really needed it because I got my Kika K um, and I do this menu planning and cleaning tasks in my Kika K now. So I haven't needed this as much, but it's still a good idea. So yeah, basically cruised on through all the months, ran out of the weeklies, continued on those, just using the monthly. And I changed, yeah, some some of the months I changed because I wanted, since I wasn't using the weekly, I thought, well, well now I can have a bit more space for the month. So I spaced it over two so that it had the month out and bam, bam, you know, I can still see. Notes, you know, dot, diary date things, and space for habit and space for quote, you know, just little cute things as well. Um, so that, that's another design. Um, these are, are available. So I've got the month in the large fold out. That's available in my Etsy store. And the month, the small one, is also available. There is one other available as well, which I don't have the prototype in here, I don't think. No. Um, and that's just a slightly different design. I don't think I have the prototype in here. Oh, oh do I? I do, September, there you go, have a look. Um, so it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you write it one, two, three, four, five, and basically goes down instead of across the numbers, something like that. Yeah, um, that was a request, um, so a customer's request, so I, um, you can see, yeah. Instead of the, the days going across like that, they go, you know, write them, turn it away. I could have done it, turned them, and had it so that the calendar is sideways like that. But I thought that was a bit silly, because then you've got to turn your whole book. So, yeah. Unless of course you were using it like that. But I don't know who would be using it like that. Anyway. Um, like I said, it was a it was a customer request, so I, I came up with it. Um, I'm going to give it a go in September, but I haven't gotten there yet. Um, like I said, June's not filled out. September doesn't have a flag on it, I just realised. Oh, it's also out of order. Yeah, July, August, <laughs> September. So my future dating isn't the best. <laughs> not exactly in order. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've gone back to that one because I had them already printed. Um, so like I had the big double in April, but now I've gone back to that because they were already printed. So yeah, 
that's cool. I don't mind. Got to use up what you've got, hey. Um, so anyway, how I use it now, anyway, is pretty much as a notebook, a notepad, basically. I still write the dates, but I don't write in it every day like I was doing. Um, I was pretty much writing every day. But I'll write a note and if I've got things on or I make a make a coffee date or something, I will write it down future with the future date on it. And then I can mark it into my calendar. And then transfer it across to my Kiki K um, as well. But I haven't made too many dates lately, so it's a bit like I said, it's June, first week of June's only up and I haven't even written anything in there. Um, yeah, so and that's, as you can see, I haven't even moved my today thing. Um, so I'll move that to there. But I'm not too worried because I'm not wasting paper, which is the great thing about this. Like May, I used one piece of paper and I didn't write any dates on there. <laughs> it's just all, and a lot of it's just lists and a bit of adding up that I had to do for something. And, you know, it's, it's is what it is. I'm running out of paper, no paper though, although I do have a, some spare. Um, yeah, and then my future dates only go up to September, but that's just a matter of me printing more of those out and putting them in. I don't need to future date anything much beyond September at the moment, so I'm not too worried. Um, it's not getting too bulky, which is good. I guess if you were like using all the weekly sheets as plus, you know, actually writing you know, bullet journaling like every day, it would get bulky so you might want to take some out. But for me it's not at the moment because like I said I'm not using it a great deal. Um, household section is still the same. My savings thing that I was doing failed. We got to week five and then we needed some money so we could take them out. Never got replaced. Um, yeah. We'll try again in the future. No doubt. Um, monthly chores, that's, that works, we do these. My weekly cleaning plan still in working, my home blessing still works, although I have modified it, I now space it over a few days because a few, all of those things on one day was just a little too much sometimes. Um, my routines, my kids' routines, they're all still in there. All nicely laminated so that they can you know, be kept for, for a long time. They all still work and they'll still still use. Um, jobs, lists, nothing's been ticked off. I haven't really gone back to check them. No, nothing's been finished. Uh, cast off, service, Rio. Fix the dents in the Rio. Wheel bearing in the Rio. Oh, wow, well, we've done the wheel bearing because we had to. It collapsed. Um, anyway. So that's sort of house and car type stuff. Food, so this is just my quick flick uh, pro points guide for Weight Watchers. Just got things I eat um, that I want to keep track of. We've got, ooh, we've got yeah. Um, oh yeah, things that I want to plant in my veggie garden, which is empty at the moment. We are going about to hopefully clean up the veggie garden and put it in sometime soon. Um, a fruit garden, so we've got fruit, different fruit trees and different things growing. So we still have pineapples growing, mango trees, still got a banana palm and there's still a star fruit tree, which I didn't collect any fruit from this year. That's just gone, gone to waste. Snack ideas, all I've written down is pipelets. Sweet, pipelets are good. Lunchbox ideas, wraps, yeah, they're, they're good too. <laughs> Obviously came up with a couple of ideas at one stage and wrote them down, but yeah. Um, exercise tracker, I haven't started at the gym as much as I planned to, I didn't get to it, but exercise tracker is still there, um, waiting to be used. Um, I love the design of it, it's pretty cool. Um, once again, fold out style. I seem to love this fold out style for, this, for personal size. Um, so that I can set these things up, all the different weights programs, and then have it the different weeks, but once it's full, I don't have to start a whole new section unless of course things change. I can 
just turn the page. Bam! New set of weeks, although it needs to be back in front. It needs to have them on that side too. But I didn't get there. Um, yeah. So I can just keep turning and I've got plenty of weeks. Unless things change here, it doesn't know I have to change there. So that's that was my design anyway. Um, and then I've put in here just a few other little things like um, different workouts and things that I had, I've always had, sort of kept list style, like just, you know, bits and pieces here and there. Um, some stuff from Weight Watchers that I wanted to keep, so I just sort of washi tape them in. Um, oh, this is my blog and shop stuff, so some of this, probably don't need it in here anymore. It was just so I could jot down ideas and things on the go, but I really don't. I'm pretty sure it's all now in my PK. Yeah, all those things I think are now in my PK. If they're not, they should be. Um, anyway, so that that section could probably go now out of here. I haven't gone this far through it for a long time. And then my collections. Um, so I have. This is, a, this is probably one part that I've set up from the bullet journal style as well, um, a little bit differently. And I have collections here, and I do have some pages numbered, so you can see here, I've got page one and it's gift ideas. Um, and I've crossed out something, so when, when we've gotten them. So, um, page three is my Project Life wish list. So I've actually looked at, like when I've swatted Project Life, things that I actually really like. I never remember them. And so when I'm actually in the store, I get like deer in headlights look. I go like, ah, ah. And I go, oh, I can't remember which ones I liked. And then I look at the package and I'm like, oh, oh, I don't know whether I like that. And then it's like, but I can't really see what's in it because they only show a very small portion, blah, blah. So I've actually looked at, watched, um, whole videos on them <laughs> to actually get an idea more of what I actually do like and what I really don't because there were some there that I thought oh, I really like that when I looked at the packet and then actually looking through it I'm like I don't like it anymore it's not my thing so I decided to write it all down so I've got it core kits, mini kits, value kits and then theme cars as well um, and why they have so many different styles, I don't know, but yeah, they do. So, um, I think I now have noted, so I can cross that off. I got the theme cards and noted because it was on sale, so I got it. There are a few others that I could have gotten, but I like the noted one the most, but looking at it, you know, in the flesh. Um, and then I've got other lists that I haven't page numbered, so. Um, and I do that mostly so that I can actually, like I, like the reason I designed it like this was so that these lists, um, I no noticed this um, towards the end of last year, a lot of the um, other, other people doing bullet journaling had to then transfer all their lists out of their notebooks into the new notebooks or the list that they really want to keep. I thought, stuff that, oh, I'm lazy. We've said that before. Why not have something I can just take them out, move them across. I don't even have to take them out. They can just stay there. I can, you know, add to them, cross them off, you know. They're still there. Um, and I still have a reference to them. I still have my, my reference. So yeah, um, if I find that I do bullet journal something that requires a list all of a sudden, um, which uh, there is actually one back there that's um, it's all about stuff I need for a cat. We're getting a cat in my house for hopefully this next week. Um, anyway, but um, yeah, that's now become a list, and yeah, I could move that now back to here. Um, I just haven't. So, like I said, lazy. Yeah. I'm happy to say that. So that's my little pocket, no not pocket, personal size. 
and my favourite pen is my Kiki K pen. They write so beautifully. Oh my god. Um, I've just got this cute little black and white one. It, it was just cute. Not, none of the other really like fun, funky ones, but I just wanted something simple, elegant that worked. I know I did have it in my Kiki K, but I've decided I want to change the colours a lot in my Kiki K. And I was finding I was needed a pen to sign important documents, and I was having, using the friction pens, and I thought that's not cool to do, uh, sign important documents with. Um, it needs to be proper, you know, permanent ink. Um, so I switched them out. So I now have this one. Anyhow. Um, so that I've got a good, decent pen on the run with me. So um, yeah. So that goes in my handbag and travels with me everywhere. And it's holding up super, super well. So that's kind of cool. Probably could get back into using it a lot more, especially the bullet journal style of it. Um, and I do want to, and I need to redesign that weekly list or page, whatever it is. But um, like I said, because I'm using my KK a bit more, um, that's sort of been let go, unfortunately, a bit. Um, yeah. But that's it. Um, I've chewed you off once again on talking about planners, so I will leave you here and say bye.